Okay, everybody, here we go. It is me, Gregory Manorino, Friday, May 12, 2023. This is my pre-market report. Sit back and just relax. Are you ready for this? Most of you who have followed this blog have heard me talk about derivatives. What is more than a side bet on an underlying asset? Now, with regard to derivatives, there's not just one side bet or two side bets or three. There's layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of derivative bets on one single asset, both to the upside and to the downside. So, um, yesterday I checked my email box and I want to thank Runbox for this information. So, what Runbox did is send me a sheet here which outlines the derivative exposure of the banks. And people, it is much worse, much worse than I ever expected and more than likely yourself as well. I just want to read a couple of these to you. You're not going to believe this. So Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs alone, over $53 trillion in derivatives. JP Morgan, over $50 trillion, with a T, in derivatives. Citibank, over $47 trillion. Bank of America, over $19 trillion. Wells Fargo, over $12 trillion. Now, I want you to have a copy of this, all right? I'll get this light in my face again. Hold on a minute. I hate this. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to put a link to this in the description of this video. Have a look at this. It is absolutely, it's literally astronomical, way worse than I thought, probably worse than you thought. Now, this is just derivatives on the bank's books here, okay? Um, not counting a lot of other stuff. We are in the quadrillions. It's absolutely out of control. Now, on the economic frontier, let's let's talk about this. So, we, so import prices in, in April, you know, we have become an import nation. We don't make things. We don't export anything anymore. Uh, and the prices for imports is on the rise. Now, if that isn't enough, we heard from Fed President Michelle Bowman. Oh, this lovely, lovely creature. Listen to what it had to say, okay? If inflation remains high, and we know it's going to, and her words, if the job market remains strong, it's really, really strong, well, more, <laughs> I'm laughing, more rate hikes will be necessary. So what are they telling you? You're going to lose your jobs. What We already heard this from, I think, Mary Dolly and from Lex Luthor, you know, the freaking, uh, whatever his freaking real name is, uh, what's his name? Oh, Cash, Neil Cash and Carry, that people need to lose their jobs in order for inflation to go down. So now we heard it from a third freak from the Ultimate Freak Show. You understand? So they want to kill your jobs. They're killing the economy. Well, like I said a million times, let's start off with them. Why is it that they get to keep their jobs, okay, and, every, and, and you have to worry about yours? You know, people... Not enough people understand the situation here. Again, let's cover this just briefly, all right? The Fed has been raising rates along with other central banks for many, many months. They've been telling us that by some m miraculous turn of events, okay, inflation was going to come down. Inflation has continued to rise. The pace of it, the pace of inflation rising has slowed down. I'll give you that. Okay, but inflation continues to rise along with import prices as well. Those costs are being passed on to you. Producer prices being passed on to you. Still rising. Okay, there's no stop to this. They can kill all the jobs they want to, and it looks like the Fed's determined to do that. It's still not going to stop inflation from rising. Again, let's think about why this is. All right, they want you to believe it's some kind of a demand issue. No. When you have a situation here where central banks have gone absolutely wild, you know, central banks gone wild, they should make a porno about this. Um, people can get off on it. When you have a situation where central banks have inflated the global money supply, exponentially, multiple exponentially high, if that's even a thing, than we've ever could have possibly imagined, all these extra bills in whatever form they exist start to chase the same amount of goods, or lesser in this case. 
and you get inflation. That's exactly what we have, but you're not allowed to know that. They're trying to distract you as usual. It's the look here's, it's the don't look there's, the deceptions, um, the distractions. That's clearly what it is. Now, could central banks really do something about inflation? Absolutely. They could do it today. Just contract the money supply. All right. Force or tell the larger institutions that they need to raise the capital reserve requirements above zero. But you see, no one's talking about this. Have you heard a single politician, even one, explain this to you? No. And they won't do it because, again, you must believe or be told that central banks are in control, which they already are, uh, and they're going to do the right thing. You must trust the regulators. You know, that was our, our brain-dead president. So that's really the, the story today is this. All right. Everything else is just, is just lovely. But these derivative exposures, again, in the description of this video, there's a link to that. Import prices continue to rise here. It's out of control. And of course, Michelle Bowman, Fed president, wants you to lose your job. And you will. Um, we haven't seen anything yet, honestly. And the, the numbers, the fake numbers, the, the nonsense, the distractions, the, the crap that they're going to fist feed us is just out of control. All right, so let's look over at this market. So today, this morning, stock futures trading doesn't start for 34 minutes from the time I am doing this lovely video blog. Uh, stock futures are higher. Not much higher nonetheless. Bitcoin cryptos still remain under pressure from yesterday. Silver has fallen another 2% after yesterday's precipitous drop. You got gold under pressure as well. Crude oil cashing a bid. 10-year uh, yield relatively stable, dollar strength stronger. Okay, that's where we stand with the markets. Lovely. It's lovely and fantastic. And I'm telling you people, we're seeing a phenomenon over the last two days and it's just so in our face. What am I talking about? Every time this market starts to fall, it's like the cavalry comes in. You can see it in real time. If you're like me, unfortunately, and you sit here and you're watching these markets, um, you know, tick by tick, <laughs> you laugh because you can see what's going on here. This is the plunge protection team. They will not let the market fall. Again, we're in a a, a, a re-election cycle and Joe Bidenstein, the mummy himself, the mummy man, Frankenstein, um, they're really trying to prop him up here. Um, and uh, don't don't be surprised. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret right now. I don't I, I you're gonna go crazy about what I'm gonna tell you here, but the thing that currently sits behind the resolute desk, he's gonna win. I know a lot of you are saying, oh, there's no way it's definitely gonna be Trump. Not looking pretty to me right now. Uh, it looks like the thing is going to get an, another term, at least in my view at this point. We'll see if it changes. Um, again, keep emotion out of it. But if you can look at the way things are being set up, dependency on the system. A lot of people, believe me, like that it thing freak sitting behind the Resolute desk right now. Um, I'll tell you what would be interesting. What would really prevent this from happening would be what President Trump asked for, a debt default. He said, fine, let them default on the debt. He'll get the blame for it, uh, Biden, and maybe, maybe he won't get reelected. But as of now, it really does look like that it thing freak is going to get reelected again. And, uh, well, just just be ready for it. Anyway, I'm dying to, I'm dying to see the comments and the explosion that's going to occur here. Uh, but again... The more the crowd says one thing, no, 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 it's going to be Trump, more likely the opposite is going to happen here. And uh, anyway, so with all this lovely stuff that we were talking about here, let's keep our eye on the situation here. Keep, make a copy of this for yourself, all right? Read through this. See if your bank, this list goes on and on and on. I just chopped off a little piece of it. See if your bank is on there and see their, their exposure to derivatives. Like I've explained to all of you for the longest time, and I had no idea it was as bad as this. I'm, gonna, I'm going to be honest with you. Every single one of these banks, if you strip out what their assets actually are and their derivative exposure, they're all underwater. They're all massively underwater. But you're not allowed to know these things. It's astonishing, but that's, that's really the truth. All right, people, that's kind of it for today. Um, we will reconvene later. Now, let me ask you just real, before I let you go. Looking at the issue with commodities right now, gold, silver getting hit pretty good, Bitcoin as well, cryptos. Um, you know my take on this, people. I'm going to say it again. 
<laughs> keep on stacking. Keep on stacking. Silver especially. Let them play their games. I don't care what they do. At one point, this is all going to get real. This massive debt suppression cycle like we've never seen. Interest rate suppression cycle. Uh, the lies. The Oh, yeah, the Fed's in the fight of their lives. They don't care about inflation. They're going to continue to inflate. Why? Because that's where central bank's power resides. In one thing. The ability to inflate. And central bank's... It doesn't matter who sits behind the Resolute Desk people. They're going to continue to crush you and destroy your life. That's their mission. That's their goal. To own it all. To be the lender and buyer of last resort. So don't get all bent out of shape about who may or may not sit behind the Resolute Desk people. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like I told you, they could put a farm animal there and everything would be exactly the same as it is now. All those figureheads do is polarize the people. Um, it's a divide and conquer mechanism that has worked. It has been this way since forever. It will never stop. That's just the nature of the whole twisted system. All right. Love you a lot. See you 105 p.m. Pacific's time. Pacific. I can't say standard time anymore. <laughs> but I'll see you later. Bye.